Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's DJ. Welcome to New Mods for Farming Simulator 22. In total today, we've, well, we've only got six mods total. Granted, we had 39 yesterday, so that's okay. A little day off. For all platforms, we've got two updates, and PC and Mac players have four new. We'll load up each mod in the store, take a look at its customization. Actually, there's only one mod we're going to do that with. And, of course, we'll talk about the updates that we got. So, uh, timestamps, you know where they're at. Let's jump in. Starting off today with those mod updates for all platforms. The very first one is a long update, so sit back and relax. The Fenton Vario Pack version 2. Cylinder on the roof hatched, been fixed. 1,000 Vario speed stickers been enlarged. Various visual bugs have been fixed. Door cylinders been fixed. Light stages on the 900 and 1,000 Vario fixed. Fixed the position of the front working lights on the 1,000. 1,000 exhaust effects have been fixed. Simple IC has been installed. GPS configurations installed. New colors installed. Configuration of mirrors on the 200, 300, and 700 Vario. Speed configurations added to the 700, 900, and 1000. And we'll go ahead and move just a little bit. Chrome grill config has been added to the 1000. Front bumper config on the 200 and 900. Roof hatch animation on the 1000. Isobus has been installed. Track belt configuration on the 200. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Uh, we also have exhaust down configuration has been added to the 200. Vision plus cabin config added to 300 and 700 canopy lights configuration added to the 200 900 and 1000 prepared for precision farming new sounds for the 700 have been installed mission vehicles installed as far as possible anyway wider fenders added to the 700 and 900 dark mode for displays has been added new warning signs installed 900 and 1000 vario front axle lowerable by mouse control that's pretty cool Configuration sets installed. 900 and 1000 Vario rear light config. So red and white has been installed. New lighting for the Power Plus config on the 700 Vario. Kubota passenger script supported on the 300, 700, 900, and 1000. And the 714 and 716 Vario has extra store items due to original rear axle. Holy cow, that's a big update. And the front loader pack that goes with them got an update as well. The Fent Cargo Pack version 1.1. Added mod description to 71. Fixed animation bugs, updated textures, and new colors have been added in the color configuration. And those are the ones that match the new colors on the tractors. Making our way over to new ones for PC and Mac players. We have the Stromach 350 or the S350L. This is a solid fertilizer and lime spreader, which is great news. It weighs 100 kilograms, very lightweight. 10 meters spread at 9 miles per hour. Very respectable for something this size. Decals, we've got no side decals, no front or side decals. What's on the front? Okay, warning. And then, uh... And then, <laughs> no. <laughs> Love it. PTO cover, we've got yes and no on there if you guys want that. Main color, we've actually got a nice little color palette right here. Could be yellows, orange, greens, and a blue. And then design, red it is, ain't it? Next up, we've got a mod that is super cool and perfectly timed. The hand plant sapling. So, basically, this allows you to plant trees by hand. I'm going to turn on my help window because I'm going to need it to show you this. So, what you do is you place this part down. Very easy to find. Just go into tools, hand plant saplings. Put it down. Next up, you want to take equipment. Then, we want to find a um, thing. You see, it pops up. It says add pallet. So, we're going to do that. Backpack is empty. Remove from pallet. Bam, there we go. All right. Uh, and that's all we can carry. So at the bottom right hand corner, you see stone pine, which I've selected. Then, and then we'll come around with our backpack and uh, activate tool. Ah, there we go. And uh, definitely sit and hold it. Don't let it go. There you go. And now we've got a, a tree planted. It won't let you plant them too close together, but it will allow you to plant them far ish enough away. How cool is that? And then they just kind of grow because, well, they're trees. Whenever you're ready and whenever you're done. Ooh, looks like you cannot sprint with this as well. So we'll go back over here. We'll add, uh, add a couple of those to storage. Maybe come back over here, remove from pallet, and a pallet has disappeared. We will go and add those back and put everything back. <laughs> How cool is that? 
Simple, easy, but a lot of fun. Next to last mod today is the Agricultural Factory. New for PC and Mac players, this factory will do silage additives, fertilizers, liquid fertilizers, and they will be produced as pallet goods. Let me jump in here so we can uh, open production menu. And well, they say storage is empty. Um, by the way, I've got the production revamp turned on as well because the next mod that we're gonna show you guys requires that. So this one does not, that's kind of nice. So you can see here, we've got water, milk, sugar, eggs, manure, slurry, digestate, and lime. And then with those different things, you can create your fertilizer. So uh, the range of silage additives, uh, water, and then milk, which is interesting, and sugar. Is that how you make that? I don't think that's how you make that. And then eggs go into solid fertilizer, which I'm not sure is the thing either, but hey, man compost maybe uh either way very cool mod something different and your last mod today is the sawmill pe uh platinum edition maybe uh this does require pre or, uh, production revamp by the way it's not a mod that i use constantly but it is uh very useful to have you can see we've got three different sawmills basically it's just sawmill two right there so we have wood planks in there in and out and then we also have wood beam wood prefab um the prefab wall is interesting because if you don't have the dlc that's not going to show up obviously but if you do have it it will show up it's kind of nice so you're good to go uh each one i would say is just a little bit different but it all looks like they do exactly the same thing the nice thing at least is that they all look i mean i'm not sure you could get much different than that this is kind of a smaller version this is a very very large version there you go looking around this side and then this kind of looks like it would fit well i don't know if a city center would be or town center would be good but you know close to other people unless there you go sawmills pe well guys that is it for today's mod video hope you've enjoyed it drop a like if you did get subscribed if you're new and join the go ham fam also check out farm some news we already released that earlier today talked about some well these mods and the tlx 1982 as well as a fifth wheel bunk coming from hr force very cool mods otherwise hope you have a good one we'll see you later Peace.